Zach Carruthers. I am uh, the bass player and founding member of Portugal The Man. I uh, also sit on the chair of the PTM Foundation. But, like, I grew up in Alaska and where I did a lot of fishing, camping, hiking, all that kind of stuff. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, I lost the milk. And then I went out and I was like, you know, a band boy. And I was living in cities, sleeping on couches and elevated to hotels and planes and buses and stuff. And I kind of lost that, that nature in me. I always still loved it, I always still looked at it, but um, just over the last few years, I really, really fell in love with it again, and so now it's just absolutely necessary. Fly fishing has just always been a thing in my family, and so I did it all the time when I was young, and it's kind of funny, because I grew up in Alaska, I always thought I was a very good fly fisherman. Zach, what do you got going on there? I don't know, man. <laughs> I got... Spaghetti town. Yeah, dude. And then I moved to Oregon and I realized I wasn't, I was just from Alaska and where there are just so many fish. And so it's been really uh, good for me to hang out in the Pacific Northwest, learn how to steelhead, get the, get the punishment and just stand out in the rain and not get fish and just be cold and, and be okay with that. And, and actually learn how to you know, angle, become a better angler. But there are three Alaskans in the band, so we all grew up kind of the same, fishing, camping, all that stuff. And we, like my story, we kind of lost it for a little while. And to get my guys out there was was great. And specifically, um, our guitarist Eric Hawk. He's in a uh, he's in a wheelchair. He had um, an accident about. 13 years ago. And his his legs do not work and um, like anything below the sternum he can't feel. And Elk has been extremely uh, eager to help and we get Eric in the boat, like fishing and camping for the first time in, you know, forever, and especially since he had his accident. He doesn't get to do that kind of stuff, and we are big advocates for, uh, for accessibility action and just all sorts of inclusive sports. And my goal is to just get people to connect with nature. Yeah, 
got to go down for the world famous salmon fly hatch on the Deschutes River. And we have never seen anything like that. Like, we have crazy hatches. Most of it's just mosquitoes in Alaska. And so it was really amazing to see so drastically a change in the river that is specifically like a lot of subsurface and nymphs and streamers. And then watching these massive bugs in massive numbers just show up all over the banks and start landing on the river. You're picking spots like right below this certain branch and just uh, you're out there sniping them. It's just so pinpoint accurate fishing and it's very, very fun. fishing he did have this technique that just like kind of worked like nobody's allowed to fish from a boat in the Deschutes he is and so I think all this footage is from his first day his first and second day fly fishing ever he didn't really have the timing of the cast down and anything but we could position him in ways let out line do just an, an insane uh, insane drift just go down like pretty much just empty your spool and yeah and it was effective So Elk Little Leaf, if uh, for those who don't know, is a he's a six foot six, um, fifteen size boot wearing uh, native guy from Warm Springs that guides on the Deschutes River. My band, we also have a foundation that that focuses on elevating indigenous voices because rolling down the river with him is so different than other guides. He brings that. You know, that indigenous knowledge. And I don't necessarily just want to learn how to catch fish or where they are. It was a thing like, I want to learn about the water and what the water does and what it means to the people because water is absolutely life. So I walked up, see how that snake was dead, and it was crawling. With away. elk, it's, it's more just listening to stories. And yeah, he hunts thunder eggs, Bigfoot stories. Like, he's just curious. He's a curious soul, and I'm a curious soul as well. It's taken me a long time to learn that about why I fish. It's not catching fish. Anybody who fly fishes will know that it's not about catching fish. And it's just about working out that harmony with your surroundings and becoming just that much closer to your environment. And elk really has a beautiful way of doing that. Cut. 
So John Gorley, I've known for a very long time. We met as teenagers, and he and his family have done very interesting things. So they grew up in a cabin with a generator out in the middle of nowhere. His parents were dog sled mushers, also dog sled trainers. So his dad's run the Iditarod three times, which if you don't know, is a thousand mile race from, from Anchorage to Nome under very very harsh conditions and his mom's done it once when i met john he had over a hundred dogs this has been really fun to connect with nature with him with somebody you know very well you know that grew up similar to you did with the same love and respect for it that have kind of lost it and it's a break from the normal life that we lead like i just want to share the the meditation and the absolute zen standing in a river and casting and hoping for a fish Hey, this is Eric Hawk from Portugal The Man. Thanks for watching our salmon fly video on the Deschutes. And while you're here, go ahead and stick around and watch another film right here on Todd Moen's Catch Magazine channel. One more. Always do one more. Yeah.